Now we are going to learn a very important concept in maths that is fractions. So consider you have a chocolate bar and you are dividing the chocolate bar in some equal number of pieces. For example, over here you can see that this chocolate bar is divided into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 pieces, 9 equal parts. Okay, this is a full one chocolate bar and it is divided into nine equal parts and you give six parts out of the nine parts or seven parts out, out of the nine parts to someone, to your friend let's say. So over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you are giving seven parts out of nine equal parts to your friend let's say. So you are giving him or her seven out of nine equal parts, equal parts of that chocolate bar. Okay. Other than chocolate, you can also consider this to be a long ribbon and you are dividing the ribbon in nine equal parts and you are giving seven parts out of nine to someone else. So this seven over nine which is less than this full one ribbon or less than this full one bar is a fractional part of this entire chocolate or the entire ribbon. So this 7 over 9 or 7 upon 9 is said to be a fraction. Similarly, let's say you have a chocolate and you are this time dividing the chocolate in 1, 2, 3, 3 equal parts. Okay? And remember the parts need to be equal. And you're giving one out of the three parts to someone else. So you're giving one out of three parts to somebody else. So this also becomes a fraction. One upon three. So in a fraction, we see that 11 over 15 is written as 11 upon 15. And this 11 is said to be the numerator. Means the number of parts which are to be considered. And 15 is the denominator or the total number of equal parts that we had divided the chocolate or the ribbon into. So this is pronounced as 11 out of 15 or we can pronounce this as 11 upon 15 or 11 over 15. 